Yeah, what up, though, y'all? Let's pack a lack. It ain't nobody got on here yet. I'm going to wait till some people get on. Because I want to talk tonight. Because I'm just up. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm just feeling all excited and bubbly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Give a few minutes to let some people come on. Oh, I'll start telling y'all what's on my mind. Yes, sir. So anyway, I was I've been really thinking for like several days. No, it's been longer than that, but really more so several days. About um the dating thing or everybody running from it. But I understand why. Because of so much it is this frenzy that's been going on, the gender wars, all the negativity. I just feel like they've taken the fun out of dating. People have taken the fun out of dating. And I just feel like it's just, it's time to bring it back, baby. It's time to bring the fun back to the dating scene and to hell and start turning to just like blocking out all this negative stuff, y'all. Hey, what it up, though, y'all? What up, what up, what up, y'all? Stick around, stick around. I just want to talk about bringing the fun back into the dating scene. Like, people just forgot how to date. And they forgot about having fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get older, you get caught up with work and responsibilities and raising children. And, you know, responsibilities alone will zap the fun out of a out of a person because you're constantly focused on paying bills and making sure your money is right and making sure you good sometimes people start losing themselves mentally and emotionally and sometimes even letting themselves go physically stress is a bad son of a hawk baby it's a bad son of a hawk but you know what's beautiful about being older and in the age range we're in now 30s 40s and 50s is that we're a lot of us should be past the foolishness but i feel like a lot of us start to fall into a form of arrested development as we get older because we stop remembering how to live and we start figuring out how to survive in that sense you know what i mean and when you do that you just start forgetting how to cater to that child in you like no the child in us lives forever you know and i feel like that child in us we forget how to cater to it so we start trying to fight against the child in us and then that mind still be stuck on that arrested development so we become adults still doing immature things thinking that we being adults because we're paying bills and taking care of other responsibilities but you know once you start remembering that there's still a child in you a kid in you a big baby in you and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? To cater to things, especially if you married or in a relationship or if you single and dating, you got to still remember that you still have a, a person in you that at once upon a time loved to have fun and do things that was lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to dating. All this stupid stuff, everybody worrying about material stuff. And I think about the times when we used to all go to the mall because we wanted to go meet up with our boyfriends or our girlfriends or our friends. You know what I'm saying? I remember when we used to go to the mall and that's where our meet and greet was. I remember when the mall was the meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? You went to the mall when you wanted to meet people and you know what I'm saying? You wanted to get girls, all that. Like you went to the arcade. You know what I mean? Like we had so much fun y'all back in the day when we were younger. And I feel like if we learn how to get back to that in the dating scene and stop worrying about all this social media stupidity and all this dumb stuff that people are going around. Y'all, do y'all realize we are in a psychological, we're, we're under a psychological genocide. Like they're attacking our psyche with all of this gender war stuff. And we don't realize that we're being victims, casualties of a genocide, war, of, of a psychological genocide. That's all this gender war stuff is, Joel. A psychological genocide. 
because it has poisoned the mentalities of our people, got us fighting each other, got us hating each other, not liking each other, posting negativity about each other all the time. It's like, we got to get this social media shit a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to get back to going skating, you know, get hooking up at dates and going skating, you know, getting ice cream and going to carnivals, you know what I mean? Going to the arcade, going, doing fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that girl that I want to get in a car, listen to some oldies and ride and go in a neighborhood where they got super big houses and just look at and things that can we that can inspire me. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember we did that when we was younger. Remember we used to get our uncle car, yo, somebody daddy would let them drive their car and they'd pick us up or somebody mama would let them drive their car and they'd pick us up and we'd just ride through the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Listening to the jams for hours. That's how we had fun back in the day, man. We need to bring some of that back. It's refreshing. You know? I think it would be extremely refreshing. I feel like it would definitely take a lot of this heavy weight that we're dealing with as far as like our gender wars and things of that nature, you know? Like everybody still have a big kid in them. And I feel like we need to start learning how to cater to those things again. You know, like take me to a carnival. That's what I want. I want to go eat some cotton candy, eat some can some caramel apples you know what I'm saying? And and get on some rides. I want to have fun. I don't give a damn about going. And I'm not saying that, you know, um, expensive dates and stuff are, are wouldn't be appreciated. But I'm saying, like, there's nothing fun. The fun, the fun is not in it. You know what I'm saying? So what? Because somebody took you to a date and spent $200 on a steak. You That steak is going to be in the toilet in two hours. It's going to be in the toilet and running through the sewer in two hours. So I just feel like if we start really going back to being simple, when things were simple, that we would really have so much more appreciation for the dating scene. Like we don't hook up and have fun no more. It's to the point to where people are tripping about going on coffee dates. And for me, I don't have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, my whole thing is you can't get to know nobody. Just because you done spent $500 on a date. That's not helping you get to know nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could go on a $500 date and that date be boring as ever. Okay? I would rather go on a date to where I could remember that night for the rest of my life because we had so much fun. Rather than to go on a $500 date. Just to say somebody took me out on a $500 date. So what? It was boring. We sat there, the conversation was whack. You know what I'm saying? But I get to say, I'm supposed to feel good. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I wouldn't appreciate those things. What I'm saying is, I don't care about all of that. I'm a simp I want to be simple again. Let's hook up and go play tennis. Let's go to the beach and drive up north and sit by the water and look at the ocean. That's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we forgot how to do those simple things that made dating fun man and that's all i'm saying i think that we definitely need to get back to that you know what i'm saying i think we should get back to that but i ain't come to stay all night y'all i just really wanted to put that out there because i've been thinking about it a lot and i watch the things that we argue and fight about and i just think it's nonsense i think it's pure nonsense and I feel like it's put out, it's been put out there, especially since 2020, since the pandemic. And just like they do have done in every other age, they put our own people in front of us to bring division upon us. They do it. That this is not a new story. Either they're attacking the food, the water, they're attacking us, our, our spirituality, they're attacking us mentally, and now they're attacking our psyche. They're attacking our home. They're attacking our relationships with one another. Because you know what happens? What's happening is black men are starting not to like black women. Black women are starting not to like black men. And then pretty soon none of us are going to end up being together. You know what that means? That we're going to be recycling our DNA with other, other, other cultures. That's what they want. And we know this. 
but we still fall for the bait every time. Like their 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 whole system has never changed. Their their stripes has never changed of how they've attacked our community. It's like we're the most experimented people on the planet. And now they done ran out of everything to do to break us apart. Now what they're doing is using social media as an experiment to cause us to hate and gender war one another. And we're falling for the psychological warfare. It's a psychological genocide, y'all. All that does is cause psychological trauma. It's the same type of enslavement. Everybody talk about religion. Well, this is no different. They attacked our spirituality with religion. By feeding us a bunch of falsehood and now they're doing it to us using social media. They use their media every single solitary time to slap us in the face with trauma and we always take the bait. Why? Why? Where's the gender wars getting us? Everybody got a podcast and every time they invite the opposite sex on there, it always turns into a debate. I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm over it. While they arguing, I'm going to play tennis. I'm going to play basketball. I'm going skating while they arguing. I'm just, it's just, it's ridiculous. I want to, you know, be around people that just want to just be simple again and do fun things. It's fun stuff to do all year round. I'd rather go to a damn bouncy house on a date than sit here and go back and forth with all the stupid stuff that people are talking about when it comes to dating. I am so not um impressed with any of it i don't care i want to go have fun girls just want to have fun <laughs> girls just want to you know what i'm saying i want to go dancing i want to have fun so i just want to talk to y'all for a minute and just say that we need to bring the fun back in days i just miss them days for when before we had social media when everybody had us a, a, a landline and when you wanted to play on the phone or get somebody else on the phone, y'all remember three-way phone calls? You'll get somebody on the three-way or have your friend call the girl or the guy you like. And then you push mute and it's because you want to know how that person feel about you, if they really like you. We did stuff like that to somebody. Mama uh, either pick up the phone and be like, get off the phone. <laughs> get off the phone. I need to use the phone. You be like, what? I miss them days, boy. I just miss them days. It was just so much fun. And times were so much more simple. I was, you know, I missed them days where we had pay phones. Wasn't no cell phones. You had to wait until that person got to you before y'all had a conversation. We caught buses everywhere we wanted to go when we were younger, y'all. We was like nomads. We caught the buses to the mall. We caught buses to the carnivals. We caught buses to all the fairs. We caught buses wherever we wanted to go. But this is how we dated back then. You know what I'm saying? We met up at the pizza joint and just had it and talked and laughed. We met up at the movie theaters. You know, we did that. We went to the mall and bought cookies and, you know, the pretzels with the cheese and, and the frozen Cokes. That is how we dated back in the day. I want that kind of dating. You know, that's what I want. So, I don't know. If y'all with me on this, you know what I'm saying? Say something. Just just say something if you feeling me cuz I can't be the only girl that's lit that want that that nostalgic dating to be like refreshing. It's refreshing. All this other stuff say that cuz I don't I mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, y'all, I'm just up chilling, listening to my music and whatever. And I just wanted to come on to just share what I was thinking. What you gonna do? Know what I'm saying? There it is. <laughs> what about you? What about me? What about us? What's it gonna be? Hey! Yes, baby. Bring back that old school lover. And on that note, hey, baby, she out, y'all. She out. Hey! <laughs> you leave me.